And also, come up with some questions that you guys might have at the end. Okay? Thank you. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. How much you got on Okay, so we so we gonna talk about the age that here. The main language is in Asia, Chinese, Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. So, uh, if you guys ever get interested in any language, you can come to this site, OmniGlot. You might want to copy this down, OmniGlot.com, and they pretty much have everything. They have Zulu. They have. What did you say those languages were? Huh? What did you say those languages were? Oh, this is any language. Any language you're interested in, Spanish, oh, Arabic, yeah. This is any language, though. This this site is covering any language. So, <clears throat> let's say, like, today we want to do Chinese. So, we're going to go here. Uh, or, mm -hmm. Actually, we should do Mandarin. I should tell you that China, when, you, when you say Chinese, they have so many languages in China. But the main language spoken in China is Mandarin. You can pretty much get uh, go to any place in China and speak Mandarin and be able to get around. So we want to focus on Mandarin. So Chinese Mandarin here. Okay, so I'm going to read it over here. So you say, <clears throat> Mandarin was originally the language spoken by Chinese officials, most of whom came from Beijing. And if you look at your map, Beijing will be North, like uh, a little north, towards going towards North Korea. See that? Is that where the Beijing is? What's it called? Be Beijing. Where's so if you look, uh, hold on. Shh. Beijing. Of oh, actually, no, no, I'm sorry. They don't have the label on the map. Just right. They only you have see the where you see where North Korea is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like close to that that area. So write that's that a, down. That's actually the capital of China, uh, Beijing. No, they do it right here. Right. The capital. Yeah. China, China? You see China right there in the middle. Yeah. So I, I've been in uh, Taiwan. I'm, I'm talking about Taiwan. So Beijing is the capital of. China. Language was called Quan Yu. It's Quan Yu. This means official language in Chinese. The word Mandarin comes from Portuguese, from the Sanskrit word Mandari, commander. The Portuguese use the term to refer both to the Chinese people and their language. And Mandarin is known as Wu Tong Kwa. Wu Tong Kwa. It's like common language, that means common language. Or Beijing Hua. Beijing Hua. We, we said that Beijing was the capital, right? So Beijing Hua is referring to that the language of Beijing. So Beijing Hua in China. Yu, and this is another way of referring to Chinese, it's like a national language in Taiwan. And Hua Yu, Chinese language, another way of saying Chinese in Singapore. So and so when you, like if you um, speak with people in mainland China, uh, when they refer to the Chinese language, they would normally say Wu Tong Hua. But in Taiwan, they would say Wu Yu. They would use Wu Yu in, in uh, Taiwan. Now, Taiwan is, it's a little nasty when it gets into the politics. They say that Taiwan is part of China, but it's, I don't, know, I don't want to get into the politics, but they speak, uh, Chinese as well in Taiwan. So if you speak Mandarin, you can actually go to Taiwan and get around. But the accent is a little different. Like, um, if you listen, if you, if you, if you listen to, uh, like if you listen to people in mainland China speak Chinese, you will hear a slight difference than the people in Taiwan. It's like more of a, uh, they speak in Mandarin, they like curl their tongue. For example, they'll say something like, uh, <laughs> like, uh, I say, boy, sure, they say, sure, sure, sure. 
So they'll say, for example, they say, 我是, like say, 我是中国人, 我是中国人, so 是, 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 they curl their tongue, but in Taiwan, in Taiwan, if they say it, it will sound like, 我是中国人, or they will say, 我是台湾人, 是, not 是, so it's like the accent is a little different, but I mean, if you speak the language fluently, you can still understand what they're saying. So, What's so, your favorite language? Speak. My favorite language? Out of all those languages. Uh, I don't really have a favorite language. Mm -hmm. What's the easy language? <laughs> okay, if you guys have questions, let him finish, and then you guys can ask questions in a minute. I don't have a favorite language, but I, I would say, like, my, uh, uh, what can I say? My favorite region would probably be Asia, because I started learning Asian languages before the other language. It was, like, Asia, and I started learning the African language. So I'm more leaning towards Asian languages. That's my opinion. So they say today Mandarin is the main language of the government, the media, and education in China and Taiwan. And one of the four official languages in Singapore. There are approximately 870 million Mandarin speakers. So like I said, if you decide to learn uh, Mandarin, you'll be able to go anywhere in China and speak to anyone. You can go to Beijing. speak man but they keep in mind they also have dialect so if you, like you can let's say if you go to Beijing they may speak in a dialect you may not understand so a lot of people I get this common question a lot of people ask me well when you go to the Chinese restaurant <coughs> can you understand what they're saying you know not all the time because they like a lot of them will speak in a dialect so like for example we go to a place like Happy Dragon. I don't know if you guys have been to Happy Dragon, a uh, Chinese restaurant over. Oh, street. by uh, Chip Keys. On Livingston. It's by, it's right across from Apple Central. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, they, they're from Taiwan, so when you go in there, they're not speaking Mandarin. Like, they're speaking Taiwanese, so if you if you, if you just study Mandarin, you're not going to understand what they're saying, unless you study Taiwanese. Yeah, understand you. Huh? Gingies. 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 Uh, Chinese, Japanese. Yeah. Oh, Japanese thing. Oh, I don't. It's kind of see the thing about those those places. Like, although they say that they're like uh, Japanese steakhouse, most of the time they don't have Japanese Japanese people there. We have like uh, people from uh, Laos, and they speak Laos. They speak Hmong and Thai. It's just like mixed up. But there are some places like I think it's uh, what's the name? The Fujiyama. I think it's, mm -hmm. They have Japanese people. So, so yeah. Uh, did you, did you ask me something? Oh, I said, um, so like you won't understand what they're saying when they speak up from their dialect, but you can, but they can understand you. Yeah, like if, like for example, if I go to, if I go to, uh, if I go to Happy Dragon and I want to speak to them in Chinese. I can speak to them in Mandarin, they will understand what I'm saying. Because they just, see, like they say here, see, today, Mandarin is the main language of government and media. So, everyone, so they so they all know the name. everyone in China knows this Mandarin. They, you ha they have to learn this. they just learn the other one? No, they, now, the, the, uh, their main language, like, let's say, Taiwanese, those people with Happy Dragon, they grew up at home speaking, speaking that language. You see, everyone grew up, like, <laughs> No, no, I just, after you get done, I'll, oh, okay. Calvin it's has a question. Like, um, they have to learn the, the, uh, the proper way of speaking, the standard way of speaking. Just like you guys learn standard English, and you have yeah. dialects, like we talked about African American vernacular, or Cajun English, or, you know, you learn a standard English in your textbooks. So they're learning a standard, Mand is it Mandarin? Mandarin in their textbooks, but of course we all have dialects, and we just learned about this today when I said New Hampshire, and what did you say, Calvin? New Hampshire. New Hampshire, and then I was telling uh, Mr. McCormick, and he said New Hampshire. So again, everyone's, sometimes you can't understand everyone depending on where you're at in the like, world, but it's still English. Like, so yeah. it's still Mandarin, but it's a dialect that maybe distorts it. A little bit more. Like when people say like Lancaster and Lancaster. Lancaster, yeah. Lang which like it even gets more serious with the type of words people so use. Like we talked about before, 
in New York, if you want to carry something, they say they might say, "Are you going to schlep that?" And that means to carry. So sometimes even words change in different dialects. Calvin, did you have a question? Oh yeah, could you like, you like read the symbols or something like that? Like the symbols right there. Yeah, this is yeah, this here, this is this is like remember it's like this is Wutong Hua, Wutong Hua. This is Wutong is like uh, common. Wutong is common, and Hua is is the um, the language, the speech, and then this is Hua Yu. They would use this in Singapore, more in Singapore, where you're first Chinese. But this is Woyu. Woyu is the, the, the national language, the, the national language in which they would use in China. And um, another thing I should mention is the characters. Um, like they have two sets of characters. They have traditional and simplified characters. This is actually uh, that's that's a traditional character. Let me show you what the simplified is. Did you feel right like that? I thought, I thought that um, this one of them symbols meant more than one word. Yes. Yeah, hey, hold on. He's about to show you. Where do you mean syllables? Where do you mean syllables? Where do you mean syllables? So, like this here. China, you want to be, you want to have to be able to read those characters. I said, no, nah, it's too hard. So I was just mainly focusing on how to speak the language. So um, eventually, I decided to go ahead and start learning these characters, and I started with the simplified. And uh, a short time after, I started the traditional. So this, this here, um, this wool, they have a. Uh, this is called Pini. It's like the English, like the Romanized. So when you first when you first start learning the characters, you would use this system. That purple one works well.
I'm an American, so may war is an American. May war and grab this person, so may war that American person, so war should may war that. Now here, this is the pain I just told you guys about. So um, when you when you start learning the characters, you have to learn the pain to get an idea of how to pronounce these, these characters. So um, you can use Pini or you can use Bokomoko. Bokomoko is uh, Bokomoko is learned in uh, Taiwan. You go to Taiwan and teach you Bokomoko. That's just like a phonetic system. Like we have, I see the color. like pinyin, but they use phonetics to pronounce uh, those characters. So, so is that just like us? We use phonetics like A, B, C? Yeah, like A, B, C, yeah. Okay, so they use phonetics like A, B, C. Right. And it's whereas... Just like, it's just like this. Like, going French. Like, That's English. It's just like the pinyin. Like the pinyin. Um, it's just like the pinyin. Like A, B, C, D. Same thing. And this system here is like ba ma ba 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 ma. This is like ba ma ba. Yeah. I know what you think. Okay. Uh, so yeah. So this this is like the system you would learn first. Anyway. Like when I when I first started learning, I only knew how to read this. This this pain because like I said, I didn't want to learn the characters. I thought they were too difficult. But people told me that uh, that uh, I wouldn't be able to use this in China, so that's why I had to start. I had to start learning this here. So you just know because of the lines. Mm -hmm. So you know what they are just because the lines is in certain spots. Um, no, like um, like when you start learning the characters, you have to pretty much memorize them. You have to write them over and over and over and over. Keep writing, keep writing, them. because they don't have an like alphabet. the definitions. No. no, there's there's no alphabet in Chinese, so it's not like okay, you learn A and B. You have to memorize all the characters. Oh, they do what they do. How many characters are there, Mr. McCormick? Do you know? A lot. <laughs> More than 26? But, yeah. Um, they, they, they have a lot. It's just like, it's just like um, in English, we don't know, like the dictionary, we don't know all the words in the dictionary, right? We don't know all the words in the dictionary. Right? Yeah, right? So it's the same, it's the same in Chinese. They, they have a, a plethora of characters, but they don't know all of them. They just, they know about, i say five to maybe between five and seven thousand characters. If you know between five and seven thousand characters, then you can survive. You can survive. You like just like to long. Long. Huh? You like yeah, if you know like five thousand, about five thousand, five, six thousand characters, you, can you don't have to know any more than five, six thousand characters. I don't know how many words. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, they, they don't know all the they have like thousands of characters, but they don't know all of them. It's just like how we don't know all the, the, uh, the words in the dictionary. So, um, if you, okay, you know how you always get a little fair and like, oh, here's your name in Chinese. Is it really literally like T I N A? Because you're saying character, so like they wouldn't really have a Tina or they would have something akin to it. Or, or they, like, if this, um, let me see. Like they, they do it. It's like a like, uh, let's say Tina. Um, or you can just say the awesome one. <laughs> yeah, the awesome well, one. Would be suitable for me. But I mean, I'm saying, like, if you went to. If you have it there when they put your name on that right, little yeah. piece of rice and yeah. that thing. Yeah, it's like, let me see. Yeah, piece of rice. Yeah. I have one of those. I have one and a little toothpaste. Yeah. yeah, so like your name. How would they translate your name? It does that. It's just he needs to move the mouse in a minute. But there's, that's not the M, that's not the O, that's not the E. Okay. So if you have wow. Yeah. 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 Okay, this is what they do. Okay, so my name is Moses, right? So 
In Chinese, they say mo xi si, mo xi si. This mo xi si. So they, they take care of those um, equivalent sounds. Like mo, they look at mo. They look at mo. You have mo. This is mo. So that's how they pronounce it. Mm-hmm. Two letters in a, oh, so they, they, they find it, they think of a word that takes a wit. So his name is Mo. So more what character will use that equivalent to that sound? More. So, oh, so we use more. And then she. Because they don't have uh, she. Yes, yeah, so they will turn it to she. So they use she. And then s. It's just a silly, so they say s. So they use this character here. So more she. More she. So they do that with every one's name. Like Tina, they will find something with T, and then they'll say, okay, what character is with T? And translate that, and then not. So it'll be T, not, whatever character they use for not. So it's just, and it's, it may be different for everyone, too. It's like, uh, so it's like how many syllables it is? How many syllables it is? Yeah. Yeah, so we have more, more, she, si, how many syllables it is? Mine's only one syllable. Mm. Now, how about Japanese, Moses? Is Japanese different from Chinese? And where is yeah. Japanese spoken? Um, let's see, uh, Japanese is spoken in Japan. We all know it's spoken in Japan. You look at the map. Japan is right there. Next to South Korea. Next, next to South Korea. Now, a lot of people, a lot of people uh, ask, well, if you can speak Chinese, can you go to Japan? Speak with Japanese, you know you can. But if you write something in Chinese to a Japanese person, because of those characters, they can understand a lot of it because they use those Chinese characters. So they all use the same characters. It's not they. Well, they have an alphabet in in Japanese. Like for example, that same sentence I just wrote in Chinese. How come it all sounds the same? Yeah, you guys are asking great questions. Give him a minute to... Hold on, Dale. Got two questions on the floor.
So Moses, uh, Kyle asked, why does, is that, did you ask why does it all sound alike? Is that what you asked, Kyle? Do you think it sounds alike, Moses? Do you think the languages, they're totally different? No, they don't sound alike. It sounds like, uh, somebody on the TV. I don't know if they sound alike. It's because you haven't studied the language. Yeah. So, okay, okay, listen to me. See if you think it sounds the same. So I'll say something. Ray, real quick. Ray, what's your question, real quick? Didn't you have a question? I thought you did. Dale. Dale. Uh, Mr. Moses, we have about, I mean, Mr. McCormick, we have about 15 minutes, so do we want to move on to the next country, which is Africa? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. You got like three minutes. We'll get to that. China, little Chinese languages, and Japanese is talked about. Now, Korea is another interesting language. Korea is a character. Japanese characters are very, very, they have an alphabet. It's very easy to learn. So basically, these Chinese. I can teach you guys how to read Korean in one week. Really? Really? You should come back for a week. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so so Korean is spoken in South Korea and North Korea. Now they have dialects. So North Korea, they can understand the standard Seoul dialect, Seoul Korea, but they also have their own way of speaking Korean. So if you can't help them and it's not how they talk, they can understand you, but if they said how they help you, what do you mean? Yeah, if it's a dialect, you won't be able to understand what they're saying. Oh, so it's slang. Cleveland. <laughs> yeah, it's not like, it's not slang, it's more just like a dialect. Cleveland. I told you guys, slang oh, is words or expressions, yeah. like cool, gnarly, it's not a language, it's not a dialect. Totally rad. Totally rad. She said totally rad. She said totally rad. slang, yeah, they got, they got slang. They got Every language has slang. Yeah. But it's a different dialect. It's just like we have dialects here, like just we talk about. We got like Ebonics, Ebonics dialect. You know, everybody talking about like Ebonics dialect. Bro, yeah. 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 You know what that is. Bro is is a is also a slang term. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, we slang. But the. Okay, we have to focus. We only have so much time. So Korean is spoken in uh, North Korea and South Korea. Now, this language is just like Japanese grammar, like uh, Japanese grammar. We call it an uh, SOV. It's an SOV language. Subject. <laughs> it's the subject, object, verb. Subject, object, verb. So it's completely backwards. Okay. So. Korean is the 
this has the same structure as Japanese. The vocabulary, I'll say 70% uh, of Korean words come from Chinese, 70%. So if you speak Chinese and Japanese, you want to have fun learning like Korean. So what is Korean look like? Um, I'm going to write the same sentence. Good observation. Just like you guys with Spanish and French. You take those classes, you're not speaking in Spanish and French every day, so therefore you're not retaining it or keeping it in your repertoire. So just like with So it, what would what would be your suggestion? What would be your suggestion, Mr. McCormick, if you wanted to learn language, how would you be able to retain it like you have as a student? Like how do you how do you keep it? Okay, we got to move on to Africa because we have like five minutes. Oh, I'm sorry. We have to go to Africa. Is Africa harder than this? Okay, everybody keeps saying African, African, African. There is not African. 
Yeah, Hold on, he's about to say. Like, African, it's not African. A lot of people, I mean, it's, it's, it's okay. A lot of people, they, they say that. Yes, yeah, they have different lengths of Don't they talk to the Okay, very good, Ray Ray. I think Ray has a natural. <coughs> you hear him over there? I think Ray should might pursue this because he's right, and Mr. McCormick is going to talk to you about it. All right, look at your. Look at your. Look at your. Look at your. Okay, I want to assist this young man here brought up Zulu. Let's talk about Zulu. Uh, Zulu was spoken in South Africa. So yeah. find South so Africa Zulu. and write Zulu. Did you say Zulu? Yes. Yeah, Zulu. Wasn't that a tie? Yes. Yeah, no, it's still good. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I think that was a deadliest warrior. <laughs> <laughs> you watch too much, though. So so okay, sh we only have five minutes now. Okay, Come so on. Let, so let's say you want to. Let's say you want to. Ray, you better write down this website. You want to listen to this is the same website, Omi's Block. And you want to get some information on the same language. So you come here, and you go to go to Zulu. And there you go. They give you information. They say it out. The, uh, Why is the B in the H in the So what are they doing? So Zulu, so Zulu is one of the official languages of South Africa, and it's a member of Bantu Muni family of languages. It's spoken by about nine hundred. Northern Natal in South Africa, and also in Botswana, Lesotho, Malawi, Mozambique, Mozambique, and Swaziland. So, pretty much South Africa is where they really want to be speaking this language. Now, you were right. You said that. What did you, go ahead, what did you say about all languages? The Zulu language? Oh, my lady, I. Right? <laughs> 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 Like off one of the, the French the New Yorkers are gonna try. Yeah. Coming to America. They have they have uh, clicks. They those clicks. Those are the clicks. I believe they have uh, they have three clicks in Zulu. They have three clicks. They have. you're going to say something in Zulu, right? Can you can you say something in Zulu so that they can hear it all merge together? Right. He's used to it. <laughs> As he's writing, if the bell rings uh, in about four minutes, I'll let I'll let you guys go ahead and go. If you want to stay, I'm sure he wouldn't mind staying with you for a little bit. Okay, so this here. <laughs>
Okay, we don't have much time. Besides Zulu, what is the other dominant language of Africa, Miss McCormick? Do you know? Uh, like, oh, we know French. They speak French. Yeah, that's what Mason just said. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pause. If you want to leave.